in another separate video, I will show you how I made these. Now I'm taking a smaller size C curve stick and I am pinching it to make it tapered, a tapered square. I will just make a clear nail, a very thin one. Cure this for a minute and a half. And with some gel, I'm just going to add the fish scale glitter. And then I will flash cure this in place. So I am adding some gel around the smile line so that I can place my opal crystals. Flash cure cap the whole nail. So it is cleaned and now it's time to file and shape it. I know you're probably wondering, when is she ever going to use these nail polishes? Now is the time. The nail is all finished. It's been filed and shaped and cleaned. The polishes are applied to the underside of the nail and then sealed in. And you can't do that if you have filing to do because what's gonna happen is that when you paint underneath the nail and then you seal it in like I have to, and then you file the nail and shape it, you're gonna break the seal and the polish underneath is gonna peel off and I'm gonna show you what I mean. That's why you wanna make sure that you have all your filing and all your shaping done before you paint and before you seal the paint in. Put some polish on a tile and get down in here. If you use the polish brush, you might get a bunch of polish down there where you don't want it. And just keep adding the colors that you want. And I let this dry completely and then I go over it a second time using some of my Starlight UV Classic Sculpting Gel. This is a builder gel. It's just a thinner consistency. You don't want a real thick builder gel to build any thickness up underneath this nail. Make sure you cover it everywhere. Nice thin layer. This is what I'm talking about right here when you have to seal that. That is what you have to seal. Cap that free edge as well. And cure this for 90 seconds. Do the second layer. Just use a no wipe top coat on the inside only, not on the edges. I'll cure that for 30 seconds. With some isopropyl alcohol, I clean off the tacky layer from the edges of the nail and with a very fine buffing block, and I just buff those edges that we sealed. But yet, it's not harsh enough to break that seal. And now it's time to top coat, and I'm using a no wipe top coat. 